Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is the debut episode of Colonel Failure Fixes Your Business in Transport Fever. I don't know why you'd come to me to fix your business, but uh, I'll certainly give it a good go. And if I can't get it right, I'll bulldoze it and then we'll all claim victory together. Anyway, this, uh, this layout was sent to me by Bruce. It's relatively straightforward. The year is 1939. And Bruce is having a little bit of difficulty making his goods factories be all they can be. Well, I think I can possibly help with that. Stick around and we'll see what we can do uh, through the application of the tree gun alone. Okay, well, before we crack on, I'm going to do a quick uh, map tour. Uh, but before we crack on, I, I am uh, just a smidge... Uh, baffled by this this length of goodness gracious uh, that we've got going on here. So we've got a, we've got a good chunky bridge that won't have been cheap uh, coming up the hill. But the, the the interesting thing, at least as far as I'm concerned, is before we got to the bridge, we've got this S bend here, which will which basically bled off a whole bunch of speed just before we could have benefited from that going up the hill. As, I mean that's not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination, but it it still makes me go. Cool, blimey. Oh, ooh, dearie me. And then we'll look at this. We've got level crossings all over the show. Oh, I'm going to have to gonna have to knuckle down and, uh, and just get used to that. So uh, let's have a quick look at the map. Um, it is a, uh, a standard generation map, as you might expect. Uh, it's got uh, UK names on there. And uh, it's a good, it's a, it's a stretchy corridor map, which is, uh, which is a lot of fun. I've not played one of these for years. Uh, so, so this is quite nice. Now, what we're looking at is trying to get the the goods business working as you might expect it to do. Uh, if we have a quick look at the old profitron here, you'll see that we're you know it's running a profit. There's there's no real uh, no real downsides to what's running right now. And if we bring up the line manager line over uh, the line list, uh, we'll see that our top rated line is doing two and a bit million a year. Perfect. Uh, and in terms of the number of lines that aren't making any money, they're all freight. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, all right. Well, we can probably turn that around. Um, because if you're running a freight line that doesn't make any money, something ain't going right. So uh, so we'll uh, we'll have a look at that and see what we can do. Also, this intercity route seems to be losing cash. Based on the fact that, oh, no, hold on, it's buses, four of them, and it's full. How in the world is that not making money? Never mind, it's gone now. So that's fine. It is making money. Everybody's no wait, still losing money. Curious, right? Let's uh, let's establish the uh, the problem child, shall we? Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of renaming as we go, so largely so I can spot that I've done it. So uh, here we go with iron ore. So if we we're, we're working on just pure goods here, so this is iron, coal, and a bit of lumber in order to make something dramatic out of the far end. So this is uh, iron from Stapleford Iron Mine to Tamworth, which I assume is Tamworth, Tamworth Steel Mill. Okay, right, where's that? So uh, we set off out of the sidings here, and we trundle up the road a bit, and uh, keep trundling up the road a bit, and then we trundle a little bit further up the road, Keep trundling. There's plenty more trundling for all of us to do here. Keep trundling, and uh, then we trundle this way a bit, and we end up here. Flipping Nora. Uh, we, we travel basically halfway across the map, and, I mean, there's an easy fix that we've got straight away here, which is we could just come in a straight line across there on the road and save all of these trucks quite a lot of mileage. Now, how many are we running on there? We're not even running that many trucks. They're going to be running full all the time, so I'd imagine this is quite a profitable route. Yes, it is. Best part, a quarter of a million quid a year. Well, I'm not surprised. Um, it's going a heck of a distance. But even if we were to just straight line this, it would make more money. And actually, I think this might form the backbone of the whole setup. Because you've got your goods factory here at Olnwick. Uh, yes. And where are you? Where are you getting your clobber from? So what do we do with the steel once it's been uh, dropped off? So steel to the Ormwick Goods Factory, which is here. So I mean, we're all. I mean, already we could do something simply by uh, taking these iron ore trucks and telling them to stop on the way back would mean that they're picking up iron and dropping it back there. 
This, I suspect, is where the coal's coming from. Okay, so you've got iron, coal, steel. This does not look like it's it's that it doesn't look like it's that challenging, if you ask me. Um, okay, right. Okay, so there, there's that, and then you need to, presumably we've got some plankage going on here. Your production's not particularly high, but this is what's going on. This goes to the goods factory there. Perfectly sensible. Uh, and it's the lumber is coming. Let's close a couple of these, but not all of them. All right, all of them, but that one. Where are you? Uh, where are you getting your wood from? There, tiny. Okay, up this brown line here, and that's coming from Stapleford. Right. Okay. Well, look, there's an easy one we can do here. Um, is there? Well, possibly. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it seems almost too. It seems almost too obvious. I just want to make sure that I've thought it through because if we stick a, a good station in here, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, we stick a good station in here. Uh, we can pick up iron ore and... Oh, hold on, we're playing... We're playing default. So we're playing a, playing a vanilla build here, which means that the good old faithful Naffy's wagon is not available to me. Cunning. Well, okay, well, we'll just do iron ore then. Uh, we'll take iron ore down to here. You could do a mixed consist. We'll see. Uh, pick up the iron ore. Trundle down the trundle down the track, put a stop in here possibly. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! We've got two lumber mills on the go. Whoa, wait, what? Why would we do that to ourselves? So if you're running two lumber mills at the same time, you're you're going to be cannibalizing each other. They'll send it all to one and and uh, and live life to the fullest. So is this uh, is this this forest? Is it supplying both? No, yeah, that's a truck. Thank you. Yes, it's sending to two separate sawmills. All right, and where are you, where are you sending your uh, your goodies? That's a depot. Well done. Uh, where where are you going? So we've got the lumber incoming, and then you head down to the Ornwick, whatnot as well. Yeah, yeah. I'd send all. I'd send everything to just one of them before heading a little bit further down the road to there. That would. That will make uh, a couple of bucks. Uh, right, so we've got our steel production going on over here. And then, you've, is this coal? So we've got a coal mine there and a coal mine here, both shipping to there. Yeah, okay. And then we bring the steel and the planks here. This should be making money like there's no tomorrow, you know. Okay, right, all right, okay. So, hmm, ah, right. Have a, have a think, I'm thinking. Because I want to, obviously I want to use a, a, a rail route for this because it's the smart thing to do and it's going to print money like gangbusters. Um, if we brought lumber and uh, iron ore using a mixed consist down from here and we fling that down this way, stop here to drop off the lumber, keep going and drop off the iron, yes... Maybe swing back here because I want to bring all the goods back again because then we've got Holstead, we've got Stapleford and at a push staining as well that we can drop off finished products. Yes. Okay, right. First things first, uh, let's get all of these offenders up and we're going to shut them all down. Uh, we'll uh, we'll go with a blank canvas to start with and then that'll, that'll make life easy. I mean, I... Uh, Re-engineering what you've already got is arguably a little bit more uh, more productive, but uh, but no, uh, we're we're going to take the slash and burn approach here. You're going to Tamworth East Stap Rail, are you? Tamworth E, Ta that's Tamworth W, Tamworth Exchange, yes, Stapleford Rail, what? Where where is this rail? I, I mean, I I ah oh, oh, ah it's here. Look, okay. So you're taking coal there. Why? I don't really know, but I suspect it's got something to do with that train I was riding on a moment ago. In fact, there's the train now, which heads up this way to go. And, uh, we've got some more coal. We've got some more steel production going on up here. Right. Hmm. 
Okay, well, in answer to the question of why isn't my goods working in all the way it could be, you're, you're duplicating effort in quite a few places, and uh, yeah, I mean, you're you're using all of the the raw resource producers, whereas in fact you'd probably do better to just use one or two. Now, this chap here is the critical one. I would manufacture goods at this one possibly because it's centralised on the map. Um, so we could we could do steel from there. Although, how's that for for raw resources? You know, there's your iron. Where's the where's the coal? There must be some nearby. Otherwise, why on earth would you choose? That's why you're shipping it up by train. Aha! Right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And actually, that train is probably making a couple of quid as well because it's coming a fair distance. Yes. Uh, interesting. Right. What's the end product, and what are we doing with it at the moment? So you've got goods coming out of here which are then being distributed somewhere, I would imagine, um, to goods to Ormwick, goods to Stapleford. Ormwick, Ormwick, uh, uh, Tamworth. No, we don't bother with ta stuff you, Tamworth. You don't deserve my goods. Uh, Stapleford. It's a bit more of a trek. But if we were to tag in Tamworth as well, you would immediately up your, up your production value. Right, okay, now, enough of this. Let's, uh, I'm going to hit the delete key for once in my life. Yeah, let's let's flog everything associated with this, and then we'll put in a lovely little train line and make it work that way. That should be easy enough. How much have I got? I got forty-seven, the forty-three million on me, and a loan capacity of another fifty, and we're playing on easy. Whew, okay, right then. Well, that's uh, you know, I I better suck it up some. Um, right now then, let's uh, let's bring this up. Do you want to rename anything first? No. Well, it looks like. Uh, tools from the machine factory. To steel, tow. Oh, okay. Right. I'm going to shut everything down, and then we will proceed together in an orderly fashion. Okay. So, like some kind of brutal dictator, I have sent everything associated with the production of goods uh, back to the depot to get sold and deleted the lines. But I then come across these two uh, fun fun guys here. We've we've got a couple of crocodiles that are sat in the train station just just sat there charging us for uh, for maintenance. So we'll get shot of them as well for the moment. Uh, don't get me wrong, I do like a crocodile, as you all know, but, uh, but not right now when it's costing us money. So that's taken us up to 60 million, and I've bulldozed everything associated with the old uh, production of goods. This gives me a blank canvas by which I will not get confused. Um, right. Uh, iron ore... Yeah, coal, yeah, steel, brilliant. Or iron ore, coal, steel. Well, I think we'll stick we'll stick with the ones that had been selected uh, by Bruce and uh, and see what we can do with that. Uh, right, okay, so if we bring a line straight up the gut here and go bosh, right, and then what? Well, you're going to want a connection over there to turn that uh, steel into something that people actually want. Simultaneously, you want logs to planks to goods. Now, that's actually short enough that you could do that using trucks. Yeah, you could. However, there is another way you could go. Oh, steady on there, tiger. So, we could go. Uh, right, so we go. Uh, we go and then go back. So we use that as one line, right? Uh, doesn't carry stuff both ways, or does it? You could go there, here, there, here, there, here, there, here. And then later on when there's more demand, you could then run two trains that are independent of one another, both doing a, a solo route. So that might work quite well. Your turnaround time, time's going to be lousy. The difficulty you'll get is if you do a full load there, unless you designate... Uh, actually, if you were to designate individual wagons to purpose, then that could... All right, okay, now that, that might work. But instead of using this goods factory here, what about using that one? Now, that is uh, very centralised on the map. You've got Stapleford and Staining there going on. Uh, ooh, Hemel at a push. Actually, I'm not sure that's any better. 
Uh, Ormwick Tamworth is good. Holstead is viable-ish. Stapleford is viable-ish. Um, I think you're going to need a separate delivery mechanism for that one. Uh, yes. Interesting. Right. Well, okay. Let's, well, let's stick with what we've got. Now then, it's been a long time since I went pure vanilla here. So uh, I'm going to be missing stuff that normally I'd go, ah, and then we'll just use, oh, it's, it doesn't exist. Right. Well, we don't want to bulldoze the field because that will charge me a bit. Actually, this is an incredibly flat map, so uh, so we really shouldn't have too much uh, too much issue with this, right? Uh, 160. No, we'll make it a 240. We probably even now nah, we'll probably need a 320. This is going to this is going to ramp up to a decent size in no time flat. Oh yeah, I'm bulldozing by the way. Yeah, just just FYI, uh, that's a that's a thing that is has become something of a trademark for me, to the extent that I use it as a logo. So uh, right. Let's go with uh, let's go with that. Let's bang that in here. Uh, well, you've got the truck stop. We could we could probably get rid of the truck stop, but we're gonna we're gonna keep it. Right, you there. Good. Can we get a bit of road on? Oh, look at this simple road menu. Oh, how long has it been since I had a? Well, it's your fault for installing road mods you never use. Right, just wang that in there for the moment. Uh, you're gonna need something convoluted to get from one side to the other. Let's get rid of this. Uh, this depot here, right, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll do a quick up and over. I reckon uh, one of those like that. Bit of this. Oh, you got you might need room for a second platform at some point. Yeah, I know. And also, you don't have infinite money, and it, from the sounds of it, you're going to be making four or five different trains, and you don't want to do a in the next episode because that that's not going to help anybody. Right. We'll try and go as the crow flies here. As mentioned, the land is relatively flat. Well, you've got a bit of an uphill going on over there, but that's that, compared to what I'm used to at the moment, we'll be fine. We'll be right. It shouldn't be a problem. Uh, right. What, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this, uh, what's this bridge business you're attempting to do here? Yeah, mate, I want to do a bit of bridge business. Well, I don't want you to do a bit of bridge business. Uh, maintain an embankment. That's expensive, Gov. Okay. Ah. Okay. Ra. Well, ah, evidently it is further uphill than I uh, than I gave it credit. Uh, we could. I mean, I'd have to back it up a little bit. Should have measured it first time. Yeah, I know. Because you could have swept across here and then down there. You see. And then everything would be uh, would be peachy. You know, if I want to get to the other side of the river, one eight, two million quid. This is more than I really wanted to spend on this uh, on this particular rail line. But then again, it costs what it costs. Are we yeah, we are bridging all the way down. But it, it means that we we maintain a relatively smooth uh, course. We don't go aggressively uphill. Oh no, it's transport fever. We could use the river. We could use the we could use the river. Are we going to use the river? Not right now. Then shut up. Okay. Uh, right. We've got a bridge pillar collision. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bit of road, isn't it? Oh, well, it's not for long. Yeah. No. Yeah, you're forfeit, mate. Good. As long as that's not flashing, I'm not bothered. Uh, right. Come on down. Straight line. Try not to take out a field unless you have to, because they charge you an arm and a ruddy leg for that. Quarter of a million quid to take out a field. Uh, life. Right, okay, now then, we're going to get as far as here. Now, we would want this coal mine to be... Uh, what, what if we go that way? Yeah, okay, that saves a bit of cash. Um, you're further from the coal mine, though. I am. You're not wrong. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to need something like that. All right, don't build it yet. Go and stick the station in at the coal mine and see what's what. Uh, so we'll stick with a 320. We don't have the bendy stations, which is a shame. Get rid of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming through. That's that's why we're doing that. Uh, so we'll need a bit of this. I'm going to double track from the get-go. Preparation is the key to success, says he who rarely prepares at all. Can we get our train line onto there? Well, you've got a farm in the way, look. Okay, well you'd have to uh, you'd have to twizzle your angle like that a bit. Okay, 
Yeah, 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 we can make that work. Sure? <laughs> as sure as I ever am. All right, okay, so we're still over 60 million quid in the bank, so I'm I'm relatively happy with that. Um, well, relatively happy is a relative thing. Right, let's get this connected up, and then, uh, and then we'll rejoin the picture once that's done. Okay, so I've made a couple of changes. Well, I say a couple of changes. I've made a, quite a lot of changes. And what we're looking at here is the steel mills production output value level number. And as you can see, it's just starting to come up now. Uh, so, well, we'll see. I've done, I've done some stuff that I wouldn't normally do. Um, on reflection, I would almost certainly use this coal mine here uh, to deliver to the steel mill. It's always worth it when you're using this this kind of multi-good approach of uh, or multiple resource approach is, is try and keep at least some of it nearby so that you're not uh, you're not forever waiting. But as you can see, the production numbers coming up. Uh, I suspect it will go higher this year. Uh, let's leave that there for the moment. Let's have a quick look at what we're doing. Uh, so as mentioned, I built this ruddy enormous line that goes uh, goes right the way across the map. And uh, and as mentioned, we are going to do, or rather we are doing, a, uh, a pick up the iron ore, followed by back to base, followed by pick up coal and back to base. Now that's never going to work brilliantly. Um, you know, two separate trains would work in a far superior fashion. I also haven't mixed the consists on there because I'm going to ship the goods using other means. Yeah, production's coming up. It's not brilliant, but it is coming up. Um, now, you might go, well, why have you put that station there? And originally I wasn't going to do so. Uh, I was thinking of of heading up here, but then I went, well, you, you're just running mixed consist trains, and they're a real pain in the bum to make a profit from. It's certainly doable if you're shipping stuff both ways, but uh, I'd be running a triple consist on there in order to make it work. So I decided to uh, to waste the money and rebuild the tunnel going through this way, giving me the option to then extend this further to the lumber mill if I decided I needed to up the throughput later on. At the moment, however, we're we're barely making it work. Uh, so as you can see, plenty of coal waiting. How much have we got there? Probably 50-ish, 54. Uh, we've got about the same going on here for iron, but coal is the next pickup. So it alternates between picking up coal and picking up iron before heading back to the steelworks here, uh, where that's obviously turned into, bizarrely enough, steel. Um, now, could have quite easily run a, uh, a truck route out this way, straight down there with the steel, um, and then potentially brought some goods back with me. Why didn't I do that? Didn't feel like it. All right, okay, so we've run a train line that goes down that way, but I mean, that's given me an excuse to use the crocodile. Uh, there's a little bus, look. Hooray for the little bus. Uh, we'll wait for the crocodile to come in. I'm still running at uh, at warp speed at the moment just to see how this thing takes because it's uh, it's by no means certain. And you'll observe that our friend here... Oh, no, you were. You changed your mind. I changed my mind. Yes, I, I was going to be doing something with goods here. You'll see that our friend there, the crocodile, uh, had actually got boxcars on there as well as... as well as steel pickup. And actually, that makes a lot more sense. I think I've got a Tamworth route going on. If we bring this up, you'll see all the routes that I've built. I've prefixed them with CF so that I could, you know, I knew who they were. Um, goods to Tamworth. Yeah, where are you coming from? Uh, flipping miles away, Gov. That's the uh, DC4 look. Uh, no, something. Yeah, we're picking up goods from down here. No, 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 no. Let's pick them up from here. Let's fix this bit of road. Because that way, with the steel train picking up uh, goods in both directions, because it runs empty a fair bit, uh, so with it picking up goods in both directions, we run a, a slightly better chance of making some money from it. Not a much better chance. Not until production really starts to pick up, which it isn't. Um, and then, I mean, obviously, once, once production picks up, then we'll really be in business. But you'll see, last year, all-time high. So... It's that's I mean it's it's getting there, but I spent a heck of a lot to make that happen. As you'll see, 1941 spent 38 million quid. Never mind you. Um, last uh, last year, but one we lost 166k. The last year we made 140, uh, 1.4, I should say. Uh, this year, yeah, this year we'll do better. 
I think. Uh, I think we'll do significantly better. Yeah, coal production is definitely picking up. So, uh, so that's that's promising at least. Right now, then, where's Lower Olnwick? It's there. Look. Right, gank that and uh, and replace it with this one. There we go. Right now, that should that should help our our money significantly. As you can see, we've already got some waiting to be picked up here. So that's. That's made a bit of a difference, but what we're not getting is we're not getting enough throughput. Um, someone doesn't auto upgrade their vehicles. Just saying, you know, just, uh, I mean, there's no real blame to be had there. So what we're looking for now is actually what's the, uh, what's the lumber throughput looking like? So I'm doing lumber by, uh, by road. What do we got? Production of 58. That's pitiful. Um, and because trucks are universal, they are bringing things in both directions. I've got three goods lines leaving from here, which is great. Uh, gives plenty of opportunity for, uh, uh, for pickup in that regard. But I suspect most of these trucks are not running with much on them. So I need to up the, uh, the truck uh, usage. And the best way to do that will be to up steel production. And the best way to do that will be to run a dedicated uh, coal train. So I'm going to run a dedicated coal train. Right, okay, you up your gum this way. Now, as you expand on this kind of idea, well, how much is this going to cost? Go away with your warnings of vehicle age. For once, it was not my fault. Just, just this once. Um, right, okay, you come in here, right, and then we'll, uh, you can share the platform with your neighbour, like that. We'll bang, a, we'll bang a couple of cheeky signals on there. We'll use electrics to show that it's all modern-like. Marvellous. Right, okay, so we, if we change the... Actually, if we set up the fresh route first, that'll make life better. Right, you, this, up to here. Go away. Go away. All of you go away. There we are. Right. That should be... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's all good. And then they share a platform. Fine, that's that's all. That's all great. Someone bought all their vehicles in the same year. <laughs> that, that's pretty evident, uh, right? So this is going to be uh, CF coal, CF coal to oh I don't know where where was I? What's, what's this place called? Tamworth, CF coal, Tamworth. There, there were only 150 vehicles or so. This won't take long. Uh, right? Okay. Yeah. So give me that. And then I'm going to stick the regular croc on that one. We'll adjust the route on this. We'll set the croc going first. Uh, purely because it doesn't need to be quite as fast. Uh, now, the capacity on that other train is 128. So if I give this a capacity of about 80, they should be relatively even. Uh, right. The reason I'm using the regular croc is firstly, it's cheap. Secondly, it's awesome. Uh, there you go. So 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that ought to do it. Set this onto. Clear off. Uh, set this onto. Uh, so yeah, coal. There you are. Right. Off you trot. And typically, this one's going to go and uh, whip all of that coal immediately. Oh, what a chancer. Uh, right. Okay. Well, once he does his drop off, thank you. Yeah. 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 Thanks for playing. Good. Good times there. Good. Good. Yeah, if I do this again, that's the first thing I'll do is put some auto replace action on there. Come on, once you once you drop off, we can uh, we can get to work, and then uh, and then we should see an upswing in. I mean, we're already seeing an upswing in steel production. That's good. Good. One point four million. Ah, that's respectable. Um, right. You were stopping at. Oh, I tell you. If anything's going to make me swear. Uh, Tamworth Branch, we don't need to stop there now. And then you don't need to stop at Tamo East twice. Right, you get back to work. Everybody else get to work. You lot can just flip and do one. Uh, right, yeah, for your own sanity, people. Tell your vehicles to auto-upgrade. Right, okay, so we're now picking up 43 still. That's a bit more like it. Uh, we're evidently uh, pumping out enough to uh, to generate some interest. Let's have a look at the chart. Oh, well, there we go. We did two years at eighty-ish, and we're going to do. We, we've done one fifty this year, and it's November, so the production has really ramped up into high gear. 
there can't be that many more more vehicles. Let's have a look at the vehicle list here. All right, tell a lie. There can be that many more vehicles. All right, well, we'll, we'll just ride it out. It's, it's all fine. So let's ride along with the croc here. Go away. I know, I, it's a Pavlovian response. I can't stop myself. I have to interact with it and tell it to clear off. Because uh, to do anything else would be, would be lackluster on my part. Okay, only 150. Only 150. How much coal is weight? A loads look. Okay, well, that's, that's made the difference. This is going to be a full load. Um, excellent. And arguably, I, I'm not actually carrying as much as, as we could be doing to, uh, to up, the, up the potential. Now, the, the issue we're going to have on a route like this is because it's so convoluted, because you've got so many different moving parts in there, is balancing the delivery of raw materials between all of those parts is absolutely critical so in the the early stages you're going to be out of everything all of the flame in time is he this looks quite good what have we got waiting there now 26 so i think it's conceivable i could i could chuck an extra couple of trucks on there and that might uh, that might help significantly but we're now starting to bring back uh, plenty of goods as well which obviously then go into being distributed. And you need to build up a little bit of a stockpile so you're not running empty trucks. But, you know, that, that will happen from time to time because otherwise you end up burning any profitability you've got on your routes. And that's no, that's no good at all. No, actually, I think production's about right. Yeah, yeah, this is not bad. Uh, the trucks that we're using have a capacity of 11. Um... And, uh, and therefore, we're not quite getting bang for buck from uh, end resource delivery yet. But from here on in, everything is about ramp production, ramp production, ramp production. Build the production up as much as you possibly can. Um, so the lumber is now at 124 and climbing. Uh, the sawmill downhill is at nothing because we don't use it anymore. This one, 140-ish. So that's got demand for extra. Uh, then coming down to the goods production, 128, 130. So it's all climbing. It's all going the right way. Um, it's simply now a case of making sure that we're getting the deliveries through. And let's have a look. We've got a full load of iron there. So we just dropped coal off. There's a good argument to be adding a few more trucks onto here now to bring iron down. What have we got waiting up there? 115 yeah that'll be a full load by the time we get there we're taking a near full load of steel back this way did we drop any goods we dropped a few goods there so it's all going the right way it's just a question now of of ramping things up um let's have a look at the profitability this year eight million so uh so when we came into this profit per year was two three million we're already doing well there we go nine nine and a half we did that year uh, it's not brilliant, but at the top end, our uh, coal iron train, that's going to drop off. It might drop off a little bit. Um, it's doing 4 million. The coal train's doing 1.5. The lumber train's doing 1.5. The planks are doing 600k. The steel's doing 350k. There's a, there's a lot to, uh, to commend um, in the routes that we've got. Who's losing cash? It's going to be the deliverers that are losing it. Yeah, see, they've not quite bedded in yet, but when they do, they too have the opportunity to make significant money because they are hauling stuff in two directions. So there you go. This is your first episode of uh, Colonel Failure Attempts to Fix Your Thing and does so. Um, it is not optimised. Hey, see, you know, I said I might switch to using the coal here instead. Actually, the money that I'm making on that is good enough that I don't think I need to. What have we got waiting up there? It can't. We can't possibly be low on iron ore. It's got to be. Yeah. See, I mean, we could we could easily be doing more. So it's got to be lumber. Um, by upping my my carrying of iron ore, we can then up the lumber. So what what I'd go back and do is I do this. We'll replace the train. Current capacity of one twenty eight, and uh, we'll take the. Uh, the class E94, because that's what we're using now, because it's got plenty of grunt. Uh, what did I say? 128. All right, well, let's up that to uh, to more than that. 160? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keep going. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's pretty, that's pretty beefy. Yeah, replace that now. So we get a little bit of a discount, obviously, because we're, uh, we're replacing the thing. But, uh, and then we need some more coal going as well. So we'll replace you as well. Standard croc, please. Uh, one of those. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do it. Yes. Okay, moderate, moderate amount of uh, of spend there. But then it's it's purely about uh, checking the uh, the backlog on the logs and making sure we're keeping up with that. Uh, the steel now we've got sixty seven waiting, and we can yep we can manage that. No, we can't. We can only take 64. Aha! So, we're going to want to upgrade that as well. And so the cycle continues. Basically, start off small, but not so small you don't make any money. You're definitely going to need to generate a profit while putting a... I mean, even... I mean, this is convoluted, but still quite simple. You'll see iron ore's picked up. Coal's really picking up now. Uh, that means these trains are going to start making some belting levels of cash, uh, which is great. Um, we might even look now to uh, to replacing all of these trucks. I th by the time you get to 30, 40 trucks on a line, start thinking about using trains. The, uh, uh, the profit you can make from using a train rather than truck is much higher. Uh, the costs are also much higher, but your potential is, is belting, frankly. Uh, just, just terrific level of potential. So there you go, we've got uh, goods to Ornwick, and then planks to Ornwick, taking goods. Yeah, because we take them back up the hill, you see. We take them to here, uh, and then someone, um, which means we make some cash, and then someone else picks them up from here to take them up to there, which means we make some more cash. And then someone from here takes them to the end towns, which make, means we make, hmm, more cash. It's a cunning wheeze, is what it is, uh, and it's, it's working. Right, what's the production of actual goods? Yeah, there we go. We did nearly 200 last year. Where are we? May. Yeah, we're going to end up about the same this year as well. Uh, but it can go much, much higher because in terms of the number of, uh, of end deliveries, we've got one, two, three, four, five end point deliveries going on. So there is an awful lot of opportunity there to make a massive amount of money. Right, there you go. I've been Colonel Failure. Um, thanks very much for Bruce for requesting this one. It was it was actually quite interesting to do. Um, I did, it's, you know, it's transport fever. It's always going to be interesting to do. But uh, but seeing how somebody else has approached it, oh, this is exciting. Let's uh, let's let's swoop in here and uh, and see our our fellows coming up of the hill. Uh, there we are. Oh, it's it's better than fellows. It's a couple of crocodiles. Oh oh, it's it's a threesome. Oh, it's it's a it's a moment of sheer glee. Now, you'll spot the quicker one coming up there. I'm trying to do my outro, but, you know, you've got to appreciate these moments when you have them. All right, we maybe spoiled the immersion there a smidge. But uh, look at all of this business. So there you go. That is uh, Colonel Failure fixes your business. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch up with you soon. Let's find somewhere amazing to hang out. And, uh, and there it is. That's... Well, it'll be amazing when they come back out again, all right? Okay, it'll be worth it. Trust me, I'm, I'm good at this. Cheerio! There you go, friends. Colonel Failure fixing your business there. Uh, Bruce having uh, having gone flipping stupid flaming goods. It's a right pain in the flipping proverbial. And you kind of go, well, yeah, it is, actually. Uh, goods is, is probably the most difficult thing to actually get operating correctly in the game. Uh, well, I, up there with tools and machines. I would say. But the, uh, the byproduct you get from steel is, of course, that you get slag, which can then be going turned into construction materials, and you can make a, a healthy amount of cash from that if you can make the chain work. Con mats, relatively easy to make working. Uh, anyway, if you'd like me to get up all in your business, get all up in your business, all business up in your, uh, then uh, head to scale about and stick in a request of Colonel Failure Get Stuck Into My Business, and I'll get stuck into your business. Maybe you want something fixing. Maybe you've got a pesky town needs eradicating. Maybe you are hemorrhaging money like there's no tomorrow. I am used to all these things because I've done them myself. 
And if you would like to be the star of a future episode, that's the way to do it.